Welcome to Insight Builder channel. How to create a file reading and writing crew in Crew AI. This is the second part in how to think in terms of agents, tasks and flows with Crew AI. What we are going to do in this video is we will create simple agents that read and write files. We will introduce the tools in Crew AI. We will uh, create the agents using the file read tool and file write tool we will show how to instantiate the llm that is coming from different uh, providers like grok it's a pretty straightforward process how to run the simple agent crew and get the answer so this is what we will be seeing just to give a recap the agent has the roles which defines the agent's function the goal which is the agent's objective or the outcome that the agent is working towards and the backstory of what the agent is capable of. Next, the task is has the description which clearly and concisely tells what the task is about or what is required to be done. The agent that is going to do the task and then the expected output. So the agent is also going to have the tools, right? Now, the point here is why to understand these things. So you might be asking this question, right? So that is this uh, WinSurf tool that we had used in the last video. So if you have seen my earlier video, take a look at that. I'll be giving it as a link in along with this video. So take a look at that. So this is the WinSurf tool. And in this, there is something called as cascade mode or cascade uh, feature, which actually interacts with the files. So here, there is a file called solid underscore principles.md and uh, there is a section under this file where it says re real world example. So I'm going to tell that uh, in the solid principles, I'm going to select this solid principles.md file. So this file has been selected by into the cascade file, remove the real world example section example section and the moment i do that what it will do is this particular cascade which is connected with cloud sonnet uh, cloud sonnet uh, will edit this file that i just showed you right now or it is there uh, right now in front of you will remove it so you see that it is actually removing this here it's completely going to be removed once i accept it so you'll see that the entire the section is completely gone and in fact if you want you can actually uh, go back to the original uh, scenario original uh, file but the this is the uh, kind of uh, a demo that I wanted to show you on how the agents are working. In fact, in the backend, this cascade feature is having uh, the the file read and the write tool, which is doing this process that I showed you right now. But how are we going to do this with Crew AI? That's what we are going to see. So for that, we will have to dive into the code. But before we dive into the code, we need to understand two things. So we were telling that we need to look into the file read tool and the file write tool. In order to make any kind of edit, the agent or the LLM has to read the file first of all. That's how it will know where to edit, correct? So it has to first of all read the file and then we have to tell how to write, meaning how to modify the file. So for this, there are tools and that tools, we can actually find it under the uh, this particular link, if you go to the Crew AI, and if you go into the Crew AI, you will see that uh, there is a documentation. Under the documentation, this link will be provided to you guys. And under that, you will see the tools, and there you will find two tools, that is file read tool and the file write tool. Okay, so this is a very basic introduction of how the things work. Now we are going to think about how to create the agents and uh, the tasks and how to you know get the things moving for the files so let us actually go back so here we have the reader agent so you can see the file name here and also you can see the file name here this file is already created and it is already updated in the github repo the repo link will be provided to you guys 
I am importing a couple of things here. So before we start importing, we need to do the installation of uh, two things. So you have to do a pip install crew AI and uh, crew AI tools. So you need to do this on your machine. Before you do that, I would suggest that you create a virtual environment. You can use Python hyphen M V N V and dot V N V. So in this way, what will happen is the virtual environment will not get committed to the repo and once you have created such a environment you can activate it and then install it so in my case i have already created the environment under my home directory it's called as crew amv be bin activate so this is how you activate the environment so the moment you activate it oh sorry so i need to use the cd command now i will have the crew ai already available with me the usual process of creating a crew is you need to use the crew AI create crew. This is the command that you need to use and you need to give the name of the crew. So I'm going to say temp crew. The moment I initiate this or uh, enter, press enter on this command, what will happen is it will start the process of creating the crew or the entire directory uh, structure of the crew. So you can take a look at the instructions and you will see that in this area so if you go here in into the top and uh, yeah into the quick start so in the quick start you can see that this particular create crew command and after that it uh, starts creating the agents.yaml file the task.yaml file and uh, the whole other couple of files group.py main.py a lot of things will get created but we are not going to follow that route. I will tell you a much more easier and a more direct route. So we are going to quit this process, right? We are going to exit it. But even if we exit it, the temp crew would have got created. So I'm going to delete it. Fine. What we are going to do is we are not going to create multiple files. Multiple files can be created later and uh, for much more complex stuff. But we are going to create some, something very simple, right? So we don't need that. So we are going to use a simple reader underscore agent dot pi script, which is going to import the agents, tasks, crew, process, and LLM. These are the various objects that we need to work with. And then we have the file read tool, which is going to be imported from crew AI underscore tools. So I hope that you guys can see this cursor location. And then we have the load.env. This load.env is required for us to get the OpenAI API keys and the Grok API keys. We are instantiating the read tool, which is going to be a basic open file command, which is going to open it and read it and store the data into the memory of your Python interpreter. After that, you can use this LLM instantiation uh, object. So that is how you instantiate a Grok Llama 3 8 billion model. And also you can use the LLM, OpenAI LLM to uh, call the GPT-40 mini LLM and you can use the appropriate OpenAI API keys. And then comes the agent. So the agent here, it's going to be just a reader agent. I'm going to say read the file in the given file path. This is the input that we are talking about. We, we need to provide the input for the agent or the task to work. The backstory of the agent is that it's a file reader. So it's a very simple reading, uh, reading agent. The tool it is going to use is the read tool and the LLM it is going to use is the OpenAI LLM that is instantiated above. Then we are going to go to the task. So the task, the description, read the given file and inform what is in it. Expected output is where the fun starts. So I'm saying that add the number of words in the file. So actually I should say, instead of add, I should say get the number of words. And then I'm going to assign the just reader agent as the agent for this particular task. Then comes the crew. The crew has an agent as a task, as a process and a verbose equal to true. It's pretty straightforward. It's like, you know, connecting multiple things and uh, creating multiple uh, uh, objects, assembling it like a, uh, uh, like a big crew as you can see here and then you know calling the crew and kicking it off so uh, one of the benefits of uh, you know understanding uh, python background code or the object oriented uh, programming is 
it actually helps when you're going to work with these kinds of uh, frameworks uh, but if you, even if you don't understand it's it, it's okay because there are tools like winsurf which is going to help you to write code like this so anyway here the code that i have written was written by me but if i want i can simply ask winsurf to winsurf to write the entire code so it's not going to stop right so fine again you need to be able to read the code this is very very important that's how the world is going towards right now you need to be able to read the code you need to be able to understand what the ai is generating and you need to guide the ai so we have seen the basics and here what i'm going to say is i'm going to say that read a file at this particular location i'm going to give it a location agent docs yt file underscore text dot txt this is the file that i'm asking the agent to read so let us fire up the terminal so this is the terminal that you're seeing here so you can see that i am in building cruise path and if you do an ls you can see there is an agent underscore docs folder so i am going to do an ls on agent docs and you can see that there is a yt underscore text dot txt so let me fire up the reader agent and let us see what happens so now the agent is fired up and the agent is using openai llm i hope it will not error out because uh, the model that i have chosen might actually not be available or it can uh, create a challenge there but to my knowledge uh, yeah it has started so it has started the gesture reader uh, thing and it is actually reading the file so it has read the file also and then it is uh, it's actually giving the final answer but the final answer does not have the data that we asked for so let us read it so the final answer it is actually reading the file and it has not given me the words that is required so i wanted to get the number of words right but it has not given that so as you can see not all the models can do a wonderful job but what we saw here is that it is able to take the tool input right it's able to extract the path and uh, read the file so this is something that we wanted to understand so it's able to read the file and after reading the file we can actually make it to give the output that we want so depending on the model next what you are going to do is we are going to create the file so we are going to create a new file with some data so if you remember the example that i showed in winsurf so we had a file already we deleted some data in it so now we are going to create a new file itself so for that we are going to use a writer agent writer agent.py is also there present in the same repo yeah, the link will be provided with you guys the difference here is it's uh, it's going to use the tool file writer tool it's not going to use a file reader tool that's it that's the only difference and by now you must have understood the pattern right understanding this pattern is the key understanding these tools that is already written by someone you need to just understand how the tool works you have to understand you have to then use the agents to make the tool work for you again the agents are going to have goals it is going to have roles it's going to have backstory you need to give the input of the location or input of the source of the data that you are going to process it so that's how it works correct next we have here the agent you can uh, read it and it's uh, you know straightforward just a writer agent it's going to write the given data to the file it's uh, you are a file saving program so that's the backstory of that uh, agent the task is write the given data to the file it has to inform the right status and it is going to use the agent and we are going to create the crew the crew is having the agent and it is having the task and finally it is having a process and the kickoff the kickoff is where we are going to add the five salient features of youtube and we are going to create a new file so we are going to say the updated features is the file name this is where we are going to write the update so let us go back into the terminal i am going to say writer agent dot py and i'm going to kick off the script so this is going to 
go through the entire uh, script it is going to create those tasks agents and the crew and then finally it is going to start executing so you see that it is executing just a right reagent with the task write the given data to the file it is uh, actually updating the information to this particular update features and the content successfully written so the status has been written to us and if i do an ls right now on to the agent docs you will see that there is a update features.txt so if i scroll up you will see that there was no such there was no such uh, file before i started but now there is a file so now i by now you must have understood what is going on in the back end right it's basically doing the same thing that will happen if you are going to write a code python code or write a c or c++ code but what we are doing is instead of doing all those stuff we are just asking it to do it in natural language so in a sense the agent is going to become the crew is going to become the future of the inputs or the future of the ui it's going to become the front end while the entire process of the agents the task etc will become the backend in fact the tool alone will be the backend sometimes even the agent and the task will also be the front end because we are using natural language natural language is a place where the humans update in the front end correct the rest of the things that is uh, depending on the machine depending on what is running in the backend it is all uh, it is all going to be uh, taken care by the machine right so i believe that now you have got a grasp of uh, how the uh, how the tools and uh, the agent the tasks are uh, working together to get the things done how the llms are getting instantiated and how a simple agent crew can uh, in get instantiated and get the answer for you so i believe that this uh, part 2 of the video was uh, pretty uh, uh, revealing of how the crew is working uh, you saw the most simplest way of uh, creating a crew instead of you know editing a lot of different different files all you needed to do was to edit a single file and understand the entire process of how the crew works yeah the create crew option is also a good option if you are going to have a lot of different uh, a lot of different agents working lot of different tasks interacting and if you are going to make the crews and agents interact yes at that time i would suggest that to look into that but when you are going to learn something it's better to have everything in a single place where you can scroll up and down and understand how the things work with that said i would like to leave the this video with four words that is practice 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 see you guys have a great time